Hey everybody, Eric Hayden here in the garden. A gorgeous day today, not a cloud in the sky and it's warm out. That was not the case yesterday. We had some bad thunderstorms move through, some tornadoes just to the west of our town. We had winds probably 35 to 40 miles per hour. The point of this video is gonna talk about staking. Do you stake your roses? Um, have you had any issues with them blowing over in the past? Sometimes you're going to get a storm where you just can't help it. It's going to blow over uh, the, the bushes themselves. And we've been through Hurricane Florence and Dorian, so I've certainly had those issues in terms of roses blowing over. I want to first show you what you can do and how, in some cases, uh, just let Mother Nature be. Uh, if they blow over, there are some things you can do in terms of not worrying about it. So first things first, um, I use conduit pipe. Um, it comes in... Um, 10 foot sections at your local hardware store and a lot of times they'll cut it. So with these, I just had them cut it in half and it ends up being, um, you know, five foot pole and it, when you hammer it into the ground, maybe about three and a half to four feet tall above the ground surface. I grow mostly on Fortuniana, so you can see the graft in here, um, nice and big. That graft is going to be above ground and it's a more fibrous, shallow root system. So I'm more vulnerable to roses blowing over. So therefore, I try <clears throat> when I can to stake all my roses from the beginning. Again, I use conduit pipe. Um, Mr. Mills, James Mills, that sells these roses at K&M, uh, he suggests rebar. I've used that as well. So here's a little bit of rebar. Um, you have the sections around. And again, I'm more vulnerable because my grafts are above ground and they are um, a very fibrous root system. So they're more likely to, to blow over. So I try to stake them. Sometimes I don't get to it. Like you can see this St. Patrick, I haven't done it. Um, sometimes I just, I don't get to it and a hurricane comes or uh, even when they're staked and a hurricane comes, you have issues. And that's what happened with this. Um, this is a Mr. Lincoln. You can see it's growing perfect. It was blown completely over in the hurricane. Part of it was this fence, it's new now but it blew through the garden and knocked a lot of these roses over. I think even Alina got knocked over. Um, but Mr. Lincoln definitely got knocked over. And you can see it, it's kind of hard in this video, but here's the graft and those original canes. You see how they're bent to the side? This whole bush blew over. And on a suggestion of another rosarian, I just left it. You know, you might be tempted to, to pull it up and try to, um, stake it or reattach it back to the stake, that could disturb the root system. It's already been blown one way. So I tend to just let it be. So yes, the graft is still above ground and it's crooked, but then notice all these canes that are crooked. With time, new canes will start to grow in the vertical because plants always like to pour, point toward the sunshine. So again, it kind of corrected itself. Yes, I have a bent graft, um, but as long as the root system hasn't been broken, it doesn't matter. So then once it grows straight, I will reattach to the, um, to the poles and the stakes. So um, I have had some issues. Um, some roses have had more issues than others. I had a rose called Maverick that um, also blew over in the hurricane. I also left that be and um, it never came back. It died because of the root system. So I guess the point is, by letting it be, you're not putting it in harm's way anymore. Um, that maverick was only already gonna die because it, it probably broke a lot of its roots in the process of bending over. Here's another example. This is Dublin, it blew over in Hurricane Florence. It's hard to tell in the video, but the, the um, graft is bent or, or the whole lower half of the plant is bent. But as I back away, you can see the canes are straight. Um, and now that it's growing straight, I will reattach it to the poles. So I have a, quite a few that have blown over, and that's what happens when you go through two hurricanes. Um, it's kind of hard to see, and actually I see a branch in here <laughs> from the damage yesterday, but um, that clear lease is also bent over as well from some past storms. So on Fortuniana, I've got a stake because it's just more likely to happen. I'm breezy because I live three miles from the ocean. We get sea breezes all the time, and uh, we also unfortunately get hurricanes. So. Comment below, do you stake your roses? Um, Fortuniana is more likely to have an issue and depending on where you live. Again, I live three miles from the ocean, so I'm gonna have wind issues. We're up in New York, I grew on Multiflora. The graft was planted to grow below ground and they didn't grow as tall. These, these roses right now are about three, three and a half feet tall. 
um, almost four for some of them. This was as tall as they got in New York. So you didn't have that rocking action of the wind and you had the graph below ground. So it's just going to vary depending on where you live. A good example is this Jewel Grace. I brought it down from New York. It's on Multiflora. The graft is near and below the soil line. And I have some of it staked, but it doesn't, doesn't really need it um, because it's not as susceptible to blowing over. Other point I want to make, staking can help. It's going to depend on where you live and the variety. Some of you might not have to. Um, I'll give you an update on these. These are the Maiden Roses um, looking great. And you can see the one Maverick that had three bud eyes. It's kind of interesting. Usually the middle um, bud eye is the one that's most progressive, but the side buds, and especially this one, is a little bit farther along. So they're looking good. Um, you can protect your roses that are in pots. I brought those inside, and I have a couple other Fortuniana roses that just came in the mail about, what, three, four weeks ago. Those were brought inside too. So if you have potted roses, and you're expecting a big windstorm, uh, definitely want to bring those in. So that's it. Not all of my roses are bent over. You can see the graft on this huge Randy Scott. This is Fortuniana. And again, the rootstock below, there's the graft above ground, and then the bush itself is looking really good. We've got some buds uh, forming. As far as the garden goes, we did have um, our first hybrid tea bloom. Mr. Lincoln, um, and you can see we have a lot of buds and a lot of good growth. Our peak is usually about, we might start to see some things into May, but usually about the middle, maybe the second week of May itself. Encore azaleas are looking good. The first blooms in the garden were this Dublin Bay, recommended as a climbing rose, a very disease resistant. Um, this is its second year, so it's certainly not at maturity yet. And I'm looking forward to it covering up the trellis. Now with the storm we had yesterday, we did have some good news, well over an inch of rainfall. When this inner tube um, fills up, that's an inch of rain. Then it spills over into the reservoir below, and that's meaning I've got to do some addition and at least over an inch of rain that we had here in the garden. So that's good news with all the storms yesterday. I hope your garden fared well. I know for those that it, you know didn't even have Thunderstorms, there's just a very windy, windy day the last couple days across a large section of the country. Comment below, do you have any wind issues in your garden? Do you stake your roses? Um, and if you do stake them, what variety do you have? As I mentioned, in the past, I never really staked them. They didn't grow tall enough, the root system was deeper, and I didn't have wind issues. Now I'm living a uh, part of the country that is quite windy. We can get hurricanes. And not only that, but I'm growing a root system that is very susceptible to blowing over. So it's really going to depend on where you live and the variety you grow. And I hope you like that tip of once they've blown over, maybe just let them be. Um, the damage may have already been done. If the root system is compromised, you pulling it back up to restake it's not going to help anything. Just kind of letting it be and then restaking as it grows straight. Um, as I wrap this up, this is a great example of letting it be. This is Marlin's Day. This is one of our most severely blown over roses in Florence. We had winds almost 100 miles per hour. I cut these roses down, stripped the leaves, did as much as I could before the storm to protect them. But this one completely blew over. You can see this original cane in the back is, is crooked. This, this whole rose blew over. But I left it be, I restaked it, I didn't pull it up, and now it's growing straight and looking great. Have a great day, everybody. I'll leave you with some classic Carolina blue skies. Have a great one.